Hey guys, my name's Jarvis and we're on Kunyum Range right now, which is Bunjalung country and we're looking for the grass tree stick, also known as the black boy, uh, commonly to a lot of mob around Australia. And yeah, basically we're just gonna find the sticks that allow us to traditionally make fire and then go to the beach and make a fire later today. And we've got some mob here that's gonna come along for the, the journey and learn about the history of the stick and what it does and its uses and yeah, just go for a bushwalk pretty much, <laughs> so. Yeah. Okay, so Nikia has found a couple up on the hill and she's gonna try and get them. Go on now. Go on then. <laughs> yeah, dope. What can you tell me about this plant? I can tell you stuff about that plant. Go. You can make um, fires out of it. Yeah, and you what else? With the other part and then you go. So, the grass tree stick, which actually is a, it's a type of grass, right? So, this grows all across Australia and Tasmania, and there's many different species from here all the way to WA and everywhere all across Australia. And they can actually, some of them can actually reach up to 600 years old, which puts them in one of the oldest plants in Australia. So what makes them really special is their, their history with fire, right? So they make fire, but they're actually intertwined with fire. So the special thing about grass tree is they don't shed leaves. So see, see these leaves here? So instead what they become is a really tightly packed um, base of the, of the tree. So right underneath there, it's, they become really intertwined. So when they die, and they become really flammable, but they become a protection for the actual plant itself. When fire comes through, which is, you know, when bushfire comes through or cultural burnings, stuff like that, that actually protects the base of the tree. So it, it, so it protects the root so it doesn't die when a bushfire hits it. A lot of grass tree sticks and, and grass tree plants, they actually need fire to produce their flower. So their flower is actually this, and this is where then their pollen can be spreaded to, to other trees. So this whole stick here is, that's called the stem of the flower. And that's what we use to make the fire. And some of them will actually take up to four or five years uh, to produce a flower if there's no fire. So when they're green, that's when they're most, like they're really hard. So when you pick them, you want just that slither of brown that's just coming into the plant. These ones are a bit too thick to make fire, obviously. So we picked it for Would that be reason? a good spear one then? Maybe, you can make light, lightweight spears out of them. Yeah. Fishing spears and stuff, you yeah. wouldn't make big mammal yeah, hunting yeah, game spears out of them. You right there, Kira? So see, see how you got the dead ones that fall and then they become tightly packed around? Uh -huh. And then you got the new growth ones up the top and there's little ones in the bottom. Mm -hmm. So the little fresh young green leaves, you can actually eat them. So that's a good source of food. So I can eat those right here, right now? A lot of mob used to dig up the roots. Yeah, and make them into a damper and whatnot and crush them up. So that base you pointed out, Loz, as well. Yeah. If you go down the base and you, you start cutting it open as well, you can get resin. Yeah, so you can find really hard resin in there that you can melt down and use to uh, bind spears, like spearheads and yeah, also right, axes. Like yeah, and, and canoes. All the mob oh. used to make canoes with them. So it's actually a really good source of um, building material, not just the fire stick. It's, it's there's a whole bunch of use cases for it. Yeah, whole uses. That one looks far better than that one. Yeah, that does look good. It's a good walking stick too. Yeah, I've learned quite a lot. I have always known about this plant, but I didn't know that they were all like different. That wasn't you to know, hurt you, that was just to um, you. Was Species a... within the major species, so that's kind of cool. I didn't know about all the like fire protection stuff, which is quite cool. Okay, we're down in Bruns now, uh, Brunswick Hedge, which is the beach area of our shire. 
And Lozzie's got the sticks, the top sticks that we get from Coonium. And we're going to now find what we call the cotton tree, um, which is the bottom stick, so the female stick, which is this. So this is the softer wood, and we're looking for the tree, so let's get it. We've arrived at one of the trees. So if you look behind you, this is called the beach hibiscus or what we call the cotton tree as well. So this has many uses, one of them being the female or the bottom stick of uh, the fire tools, which is that there, it's what we use. So when we're looking for the stick, yeah, we don't want to just grab any stick because then it's not going to work. If it's green, it's not going to work. If it's rotten on the ground, it's not going to work. So there's a really specific style of stick that you want to grab, right, which is if you look at the top of the tree, and if you look up high, there'll be some dead branches, a few that might have a few dead leaves on it. And that's what you want to grab because the water is gone from them and they're not dropped on the ground so they're not getting wet. Because if there's any moisture in the stick, then it's not going to work. That's what we use for the bottom stick. And also, this, this tree has many uses. So we use it for spears. This is one of the main uh, tools that we use for spear making, which, you know, the way that the tree actually grows is it grows like this along the ground and then it shoots up at certain points and then that way you can find any any of the really straight ones and then you can use them and also you can use them for weaving Aunty Kim uses weaving all the time so you when you get the spear you take off the bark and then what you can do um, is strip it all down and then you dry it and then that uses you can use it as rope and baskets and anything so there's heaps of uses, it's a really good tree and you can eat the flowers. So let's get one of these sticks and then go down the beach and light a fire. Okay, this is the spot where we're gonna make the fire. So, yeah, Loz, if you can just just get really, really fine stuff, so just like mm -hmm. mesh it up, make a good base so that we're not gonna rip through okay. anything. So, why is this so good? Um, oh, the girls went for a swim as well, so that'll be right. Okay, so make a little hole, just a tiny one to get it going. You wanna cut a nice groove so that the ash has somewhere to fall and form a coal. It's like a little nest. So what have you done there? I've made a little nest, but <laughs> it's um, mainly because the wind's blowing everything away, so I'm just trying to hold it all in place. Okay, fuck you. And then if it's too hard, obviously it's not going to light. Um, all right, ready? Yeah. See how it starts to slug? Let me when you want to swap. Wanna swap? Oh. There you go. Keep oh. that pressure. You want the downforce, that's what you really want. Oh there goes. That's it. Nice downforce. Ready? Yep. There's coals. So, fuck. So that's, that. that's ready. Yep. Pass it over here. So, what you want to do is place it on top. Like this. Oh, right, yeah. yeah. Mm. 
We have lots of wind today. This is difficult. Surely that's going to go. Bit of fire. Deliness. <laughs> Yay! Oh, I'm kind of this is. Friendship is all about. And that's why, that's how I met your mother. It kicks in and it's not gonna like sustain the lift, it might be hot. It stays the same 